It was an absolute historic visit of uh, the Prime Minister of the Bundeskanzler in the Republic of Kosovo now. And congratulations to the Prime Minister Kurti for inviting him. This was uh, absolutely a breakthrough for European future of Kosovo. And it's now immediately the time to immediately, now at this moment, to apply for EU candidate status. Kosovo is already potentially EU candidate status. That's very good. So you get all the key funding instruments of the European Union for pre-accession. Now the next step is the candidate status. And um, Ukraine and, Kosovo and uh, Moldova and Georgia hopefully will get uh, this uh, status that Kosovo has on the summit on the 23rd. But the logic would be that Kosovo, which is already uh, so advanced in its EU agenda, should get the candidate status now and then to be treated fairly, equally and appropriately uh, by the European Union on its way towards um, EU membership. And that would be also very good in the relation to Serbia, because Serbia has this uh, candidate status already, the full candidate status, and is already negotiating. So it would help in the dialogue. That's very clear, because then the two countries would be on the same level. This is very important uh, to have uh, this equality between Serbia and Kosovo in the dialogue by the same relations with the European Union. And that would help also in the relation with Bosnia, which also should get the EU candidate status at this summit. And so it is my recommendation already since months. <laughs> I call for that and I called on the 9th of May to have it, uh, but it was not to be. Now with the visit of the Chancellor, I think it's the moment. I call for this week, uh, this Wednesday, <laughs> to have uh, the government meeting or on Tuesday and to make the decision for the application. And Kosovo, that I can assure you, because I personally worked in some of these aspects, is in the economic legislation. And Kosovo is absolutely ready for the EU <laughs> in regulatory terms, in logistical terms. Yeah? Because all the laws which were done with the Kosovo government and parliament and the international advisors like me in the last 13, 15 years since the war actually have been done EU compatible <laughs> and in light of the EU accession. So Kosovo is the best prepared country of all countries <laughs> in terms of um, even not being a full candidate status. Everything is prepared uh, for, uh, for this moment and it's just a political decision. I understand that um, it's always advised by the ambassadors from France and Hungary and others uh, to wait. But waiting is the wrong advice. Uh. Now it's the time to apply. And to make this decision, now it's the moment and you can all say Slava Ukraine because it's Zelensky and his uh, uh, thrust uh, towards EU membership in the war against Ukraine where he uses the enormous political capital which he has now as the hero of the free world, of free Europe and the defender of Ukraine and Europe. We had, he has decided to thrust uh, here into the EU his country in the realistic directly, uh, re that historic <laughs> and all the other countries all uh, uh, the countries from the Balkans should join <laughs> this movement and that's why I call on the 19th uh, to be on the streets in Pristina with European flags together all um, people of Kosovo to uh, demonstrate in the streets of Prizren and of Peja and of Ferisai with European flags in the hand <laughs> uh, for visa liberalization for EU candidate status for a uh, NATO membership and for clarity <laughs> on the European direction and the process afterwards is very clear because after you have the EU candidate status then it's the start of the negotiation which is hop hopefully happening now with Albania and North Macedonia and then you see and discuss but it's not a negotiation like between I negotiate or Kosovo decides what will be the EU uh, regulation but uh, you take over all the things that the EU has has uh, already achieved and Kosovo has done that already and by the way Macedonia and North Macedonia as, uh, and Albania as well. So it's basically an adaptation process, a uh, checking and verification process and of course uh, more needs to be done on the terms of um, administrative capabilities to implement all this. But the rest is basically political will and Kosovo is 100% in favor of the European Union. The people have 
very big approval rates uh, for EU accession and by the way NATO accession which is a parallel process which is also very important and now when this moment this historic window is there with Sweden Finland joining NATO and with Ukraine Moldova and Georgia going into the EU direction and getting this candidate status hopefully as well if there's wisdom then it's time for Kosovo to do that as well and that will be also the road for peace in the Balkans because then it is equality between Kosovo and Serbia and recognition should be then uh, quasi as the German Chancellor has made it very clear now in Serbia the result of uh, this peace process and as I always say <laughs> do it the Kosovo model adopt the euro and offer the euro for peace for Serbia that's also the model where Vucic can have a face saving achievement immediately with recognition and then we have peace and then we have of course Kosovo, Bosnia and Serbia joining the EU together simultaneously because Serbia joining first would be a big strategic mistake because the nationalists there would block then Bosnia and Kosovo like they are doing it in open Balkans and that would be completely wrong. So it's very important also for the NATO allies, Montenegro, Macedonia, Albania to be first in the EU and then the three Balkan friends and partners, um, um, of course uh, Bosnia and Kosovo, it should be very fast in the EU and also Serbia if it joins the West fully and joins NATO before that I would make as a condition as well and the recognition of Kosovo and then these three countries can join together with Georgia, Ukraine and um, Moldova in 2029 if they are fast and all recognize Kosovo all adopt the euro or 2034 is then the next option always according to the parliament voting schedule that would be the logic of it yeah and if we don't if Kosovo misses this opportunity now then everything can be delayed and, and that would be a big um, tragic mistake yeah? so I advise I recommend Kosovo please Republic <laughs> make a decision send a letter of application and upgrade to EU candidate status exactly now in this moment next week yeah? ahead of the EU summit don't wait for the next presidencies that is, is not so good. It's now the moment <laughs> for Europe, Kosovo. Go to the streets, demonstrate and make it clear. Kosovo in EU, that's the future. And also the whole society mobilized for Europe. That is very good. And that's what I'm calling for. And Kosovo will be a EU member state and a NATO member state and will be a very good contribution to the European project. And here in Austria you have a lot of support, be sure about it. And that's uh, the future of Kosovo inside NATO and the EU. And I'm looking very much forward to it. Thanks a lot for watching and please, now it's time for Europe, Kosovo. Do it, apply for candidate status now. Bye.